Hello ladies, I hope that your day is going well. Hello ladies, hello ladies, I hope that your day is going well and struggle love free. It's very important that we recognize our worth, our value, and recognize who is influencing our perception of ourself, our perception of our worth, our perception of our value, and that we not allow that image that we have of ourself to be distorted by negative influence or negative perception or negative characterization of ourself that is not valid, that is incorrect. So the catalyst for this video is that I wanted to follow up some more on the video from last week that talked about the high cost of plastic surgery. And that was looking at from more of the physical aspect of what can happen when these surgeries go wrong, which we see has been happening. It has been playing out in the news with both famous and non-famous women. Unfortunately, this has been happening. And with the advent of the BBL becoming more popular and this being the procedure that causes the most fatalities, that has been linked to the most fatalities, it's very important that it is a subject that is talked about because of the risk and consequences associated with it when the procedure is not successful, when there are major complications from it. But I want to talk more about the mental or emotional issues that are tied to this plastic surgery surge that we see where women are doing a litany of procedures, having a litany of procedures done, having a number of procedures done in order to be transformed. It's really important that we know our worth that we know our value, that we know that the purpose that God has instilled in us already, and that we are not seeking to feel good about ourselves based upon significantly altering our appearance so that others will validate us and make us feel as if we are beautiful. It's very important that we already know what value we hold. It's important that if we are going to have an enhancement, that we're not doing this to please others and that ultimately we are operating from a healthy mindset. Because otherwise what will happen is there will always be a new surgery we're seeking out to affirm ourselves, to make us feel good about ourselves because we do not already feel such. So there will always be a new procedure, there will always be a new remedy that we're looking for to make us feel beautiful because we don't already feel that we are attractive, that we are worthy, that we have value already. And that is not something that we can achieve by having plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery after cosmetic surgery. Because if we don't have good esteem, there will always be something new that we're chasing after. And it is a mirage. It's like a mirage. It's like no matter how many surgeries we have, we'll always be looking for another one because we're never content. We never arrive at a place of peace. We never feel high esteem about ourselves because there is something inside that needs to be addressed. We need to be healed. We need to reach this space where we recognize that we have value and we have worth and that we have a and that we can have esteem and we can feel good about ourselves and we don't have to continue operating in an echo chamber of low self-esteem and feeling like we are not worth anything. Feeling that because of what has happened in our past that we will never have any worth. Very important that if we are in that space mentally, emotionally, that we be healed from that, that we address that that we are in prayer about that, that if we need to speak with a licensed therapist, that we do so and not feel ashamed to do so, so that we can address those issues and be able to move forward in our life. And when I thought about one of the recent stories in the news, 
about a woman who lost her life after having multiple plastic surgery uh, procedures in one. I believe it's called a mommy makeover. But that's allegedly what had occurred is that she was having that multi-procedure surgery done. And in the aftercare, in her recovery, something went terribly wrong and she is now no longer alive. Now, one of the things that has come out recently, there is a video where she is with her long-term boyfriend and he is describing her breasts as looking like the pizza from middle school, the lunchroom pizza, the cafeteria pizza from middle school. And although she tries to laugh it off, it seemed to have hurt her, which I believe it would hurt any woman to have your anatomy described in such a way. And whether he is a comedian or not a comedian, this is the sort of comment that various women experience, have endured, and felt like I need to go fix X, Y, and Z because a man doesn't feel that this part of my body is attractive. He doesn't feel like I look like I used to. This is why it's so important for us to be mindful of who we align with, that we are aligning with a man who loves us, esteems us, values us, recognizes our worth, and first committing to us via marriage before we have his children. With any woman, after going through childbirth, there's going to be changes that happen to our bodies. And if you've given birth multiple times, then that may be more so. That may occur even more so to a higher degree because you have now given birth to three human beings, five human beings, etc. And there are changes that occur in our bodies. Now, some of the changes may dissipate quickly. Some, it may be more long term. In some cases, it may be with us for the rest of our lives. And I think it's important to recognize that that just may be the case. So it's very important that we are aligned with a man, a loving, supportive husband, who if we're having his children, that he can understand changes we're going through having his children and that we are not being denigrated or demeaned in any fashion. And when I'm saying this, I'm talking on a larger scale. It's important for us as women in general to be in a relationship with a man that understands we our body is going through some things in the process of pregnancy and of giving birth. And we want to be with a man that can love our love us and love on us and love our body regardless of all the changes that we have gone through. Because after all, we went through the changes having his child or children. So we have to in the same vein even if it's not about us having children and going through different changes with pregnancy. It's very important that we're mindful of who we let speak into us, who we let speak over us, whose words we let have traction with us, whose words we let influence us. It's important that we are aligned with people that esteem us and that value us and know our worth. And that when someone is trying to play a game of takeaway with our emotions or with our esteem and telling us if we only did X, Y, and Z, we would be beautiful. If we only did X, Y, and Z, we'd be attractive. If we only could get back to how we used to look, if we could only snap back faster, if we could only be this, if we could only look like her, it's very important for our esteem that we are not allowing that to permeate our sense of worth and our sense of value. If a man does not value us as we are, then we need to really rethink why this relationship is one that we are engaged in. Because with men like this, for us as women, when a man has this mentality where he's not a man that loves us and values us and recognizes changes that we have, may have gone through in our body or that our body isn't perfect, when we're with a man like that, he can really bring our esteem down if we continue to align with him and if we take to heart what he's saying. 
hard to resist that. If someone is long-term either being verbally abusive or demeaning us or diminishing us or denigrating us, it's going to be very hard not to let that permeate your feelings and affect your esteem, particularly long-term. And I talked about in a previous video that I was involved with this man and that, and I had never experienced someone who was so critical and especially so in so many ways. And so I did recognize that this is a pattern. And that is why I said to him, like, if you have a problem with so much of me, why would you be in a relationship with me? And better yet for me, why would I want to be in a relationship with him? And I don't. And I didn't ultimately. But it starts, it can start off like just a simple comment here and then a comment there. But then it becomes this litany, this barrage, this ongoing stream of what is really a critique and what is really being critical and what is someone saying, I'm not happy with X, Y, and Z about you. And it's not a character issue, rather. It's really something about your body, you know, your arms, your thighs, your this, your that. And so it just be becomes truly evident that this person doesn't accept me for who I am, for how I am. And we don't want to allow others with a constant stream of negativity and criticism and denigration and derision to alter us, to alter our perception of ourselves, to alter our perception of our work, to alter our esteem. It's very important that we are aligning with people who, again, support us, are loyal to us, our friendship, but also when we look at romantically, if we're going to be involved with a man, it's important that he is supportive of us, that he is loyal and faithful, that he is loving, but that he also accepts us, that he's not incessantly talking about our arms should be thinner because we have bat wings or our thighs should be slimmer or look at our stomach with having had a baby and so now our stomach may have been stretched out some or saying that you know, we need to get a nip or tuck here, or why doesn't our hair grow faster? And on and on and on, and yada, 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 ad nauseum. And the funny thing about it is, in so many of these cases, if you were to look at the man that's over criti overly critical, he's not addressing the things about his looks that could be enhanced and refined. We may be still loving him and accepting him despite his flaws, but he's not reciprocating. And that's why it's so important, again, to be mindful of who we are aligned with is there reciprocity in terms of support and love is he a man that accepts us as we are or is he a man that's constantly showcasing other women and saying why don't you look like her or you would look so much better if you did this and he's incessantly trying to change us and alter us and comparing us to other women and diminishing our value Far better to be single until we are in a relationship, if we even want to be in a relationship, because we don't have to. But if we're in a relationship that is with a man, first of all, that's spiritually centered so that he, he's looking deeper than just what's on the surface, but also so that he is someone who is loving and kind and respectful and who values us, who knows our worth, who will be with us, whether we are 120 pounds, 220 pounds we've gained some weight but who is someone who is truly authentically into us and values us and wants to enhance our life and make it better whether that rather than detracting from it and incessantly criticizing demeaning our value let me know what you think in the comments beneath the video as always be blessed continue to level up stay far away from struggle love and relationships that harm our esteem, make us feel unworthy because you deserve better.